Uh, all right. So I'm facing Cameron, who's a you know good friend, a good faction mate. So I think uh, just looking forward to a really fun match. Hopefully, uh, you know, I, I pick some strengths to where he watched the movies that he liked. So, yeah, that's really all I was looking for. So let's go. Hello. I'm here. Uh, now, normally in this league, I like to torture grown-ass men by making them watch child's animated movies and musicals. Problem is Matthew is my age and also <laughs> likes those things. And so when this match got set up, I was like, oh, shit, what am I going to do? Um, so I brought back a classic, which you'll see once the wheel shows up. But no, I'm excited. Uh, Matthew's a friend. Matthew's a good dude. Uh, he's a great competitor. Uh, pulled off the upset in round one. Uh, so best of luck to Matthew, but hopefully better luck to me. Watch the world's end. I have a shirt for it now. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another match in Multiplex Movie Warzone. I am Mark Big Chillman Chuck, so I got uh, Dylan Vantine here with me to do this match. How are you doing, Dylan? I'm doing good. Yeah, this should be an interesting one. Both these guys coming off of pretty dominant victories, so I'm excited to see how this yeah. one goes. Yeah, we got the net, number seven seed, Cameron Holzman, going against the number 23 seed who just pulled off big upset himself, Matthew Chen. Uh, yeah, you know, it should be good. And you know what? Let's just get right into it. You know, let's just start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise I'm I'm okay at this. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna get started with round one. You guys know how round one works. It's like literally every round one ever. You're gonna get eight questions, eight different categories. Uh if you get all if for each question right, you get a point. If not, you don't lose anything. If you go all eight right, you get a bonus question. Any any other questions about the match, guys? No. Nope. Amazing. All right, we're gonna get started. Your first question in the com in the category of comedy. It's comedy. <laughs> in what 1983 comedy does a family have to deal with an unexpected death of a family member in the middle of their family trip? You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're doing a lot better than I would be if I were in your shoes right now. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, we'll see. Like the last couple ones I've done, you know, I feel like it's been pure chaos. And, you know, let's see where we go from here. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. All right, let's start with Matthew. Uh, I said National Lampoon's Vacation. And Cameron? I said National Lampoon's European Vacation. National Lampoon's Vacation is the <laughs> correct so answer. So, so Matthew, I can't remember which strike one first blood. Let's see who strikes first blood part two. Dylan, <laughs> you're off. So your next question comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. Who composed the scores for Logan, A Quiet Place, and 1996's Scream? What's your favorite of these movies, Mark? Uh, eh, probably Logan. I mean, I'd agree. I, I, I've grown a great appreciation for Scream myself over the last couple of years. So, so. I'm not crazy about A Quiet Place. Five, I'll say that. Four, three. Two. The weakest of them. All right. One. Okay. Pens down. Uh, start with uh, Cameron. Henry Mancini. All right. Matthew. Uh, Marco Beltrami. That's right. Marco Beltrami is the correct answer. So we'll go on to your next question in the category of horror. Who plays Rosemary Woodhouse in Rosemary's Baby? Dylan, you got a baby? No, no, I don't. Okay. I don't have any witty response to that, just the truth. All right. You want one? Yeah. Maybe at some point. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, pens down. All right, let's uh, start with Matthew. Mia Farrow. And Cameron? Mia Farrow. Both correct. All right. So your ne next question comes in the category of action adventure. You will find the space vessels freedom and independence in what 90s action film? So it gets me out of bed every day. Freedom. Nice. 
and supposedly independent. I mean, I'm not sure. Why? All right, pens down. Uh, Cameron. Wrote Independence Day. Matthew. I didn't know. I said Armageddon. Armageddon is the correct answer. Okay. Well, moving on to your next question, the category of Oscars. Who won Best Actor for the films released in 1986? No, we are clearly the best, the best at Oscars questions, me and you. 100%. Absolutely love them. Yeah. That that's what they call us, you know, the the date the double data kids. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> or, I lost track of how many times I've been called that. <laughs> Pens down. Uh Matthew. I, I can remember I said Dustin Hoffman. And Cameron? Or Robert De Niro. Both incorrect. The correct answer was Paul Newman. Oh, so no perfect rounds today and your next question will be in the category of crime Gone Baby Gone takes place in what US city ah cities especially the ones in the US those are the true those are cities for cities, villages cities. four <laughs> two one okay pens down uh, start with Matthew. Boston. And Cameron. Boston. Boston is the correct answer. All right. We'll move on to your penultimate question in the category of directors. Who directed Scrooged, Maverick, and Timeline? I feel like I'm already out of witty response. I'm not. Yeah, not this is. <laughs> it's really good. We're almost out of round one. This is really good for the audience. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, pens down. Uh, let's go to Cameron. Richard Donner. And Matthew. Richard Donner. Richard Donner's correct answer. All right. Let's finish round one. Yep. Your final question comes in sci fi fantasy. In 2010's Repo Men, what do the men repossess? Have you ever seen the movie Repossessed with, uh, I think, Leslie Nielsen? It's like a parody what? of The Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pens down. Uh, Matthew. I, I don't know. I said drugs. And Cameron. The fact that there are two movies about repossessing human organs is insanity. <laughs> human organs is the correct answer. Oh, I'm just really glad I got the answer. <laughs> okay. And with that, we will go. That will be the end of round one. Uh, we have the uh, score of Matthew six, Cameron four. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yes. Okay. We'll be going on to round two, which is the wheel round. We, we each compare, we get five questions from a category on our beloved wheel. If you answer right, you get two questions. There's also you get two points. You get two points. You check down multiple multiple choice for one point. There's also stealing. Categories on tonight's wheel are music, horror, crime, sports, the strengths from Cameron of Sony's Pictures Animation, and Pure Flix, and Matthew Strengths of John Bryan composed an A24 horror. Now, Matthew, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or spin second? Um, I'll defer. Okay. Cameron, this will be your first spin. All right. And you land on your strength of Sony Pictures Animation. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I would be foolish not to keep that. Yeah, yeah, you probably would. <laughs> okay. And that's gone. All right. Thank God. One more time, <laughs> folks. Okay. Dylan, give him his questions in Sony Pictures Animation. Absolutely. So, Cameron, your first question in Sony Pictures Animation. What type of wood does Z make Cody's board out of in Surf's Up? Koa wood. That is correct for two points. 
What is the term used by both Peter and Aunt May to refer to important items or keys in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Goobers. That is correct for two more points. I always forget that's in here. <laughs> Who voices Manny, Sam's cameraman in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? Benjamin Bratt. That is correct for two points. What app is the character of Akiko Glitter from in the Emoji Movie? This scene is so horrible. Just Dance. That is correct for two points. So your final question in this category. What type of store do Boog and Elliot raid and per partially destroy before being sent into the forest in open season? It's a convenience store. And that is correct for the clean sweep of the category. All righty. And with that, Cameron will get a score up to 14, dominating good old, good old Sony picture was, animation, the one we all movies. love. <laughs> the category we all love, the, yes. such as the emoji movie. All right, we'll be moving on to Matthew. Now, this will be your first spin. You land on crime. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll spin again. Okay. Now, you will have to stick with this category, which lands on, which lands on sports. All right, we're going on the... To uh, Matthew's question in sports. Matthew, are you prepared for your questions in sports? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ready. Okay. First question. Best of the best revolves around what sport? I'll go multiple choice. Okay. Multiple choice options are A, martial arts, B, wrestling, C, lacrosse, or D, boxing? I'll go with B. B is incorrect. Going over to Cam, chance for the one-point steal is A, martial arts, B, wrestling, C, lacrosse, or D, boxing? Never heard of this movie, but boxing was in my head when you said the name of the film, so I'll say boxing. That is also incorrect. We are looking for A, martial arts. All right, Matthew, next question in sports. You will find a team named the Cucumbas in what 2000s baseball film? Multiple choice. All right, multiple choice options are A, The Rookie, B, Summer Catch, C, bench, The Bench Warmers, or D, Hardball. I'll go with C. C is incorrect. Uh, going over to Cam for the one-point steal. Is it A, the rookie, B, summer catch, C, the bench warmers, or D, hardball? I'll say... I'll say hardball. That is correct for the one-point steal. All right. Matthew, next question in sports. What is what real life person does the blind side center around? Five, four, three. Multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice options are A. Dante Culpepper, B. Michael Orr. C, Aziz Ojuri, or D, Cameron McGrone? I'll go B. B is correct. For one point. Okay, next question. Penalt question. Who directed 1975's Rollerball? Multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice options are A. Franklin J. Schaffner, B. 
B, Norman Jewison, C, Robert Aldrich, or D, John Schlesinger? I'll go with B. B is correct for one point. All right. And now your final question in sports. In Uncle Drew, Chris Weber's character has what profession? I'll go multiple choice. Eh? All right. Multiple choice options are A, real estate agent, B, jewelry salesman, C, priest, or D, school principal? Uh, D? D is incorrect. Going over to Cam for the one point steal. Is it A, real estate agent, B, jewelry salesman, C, priest? Or D, school principal? I'll say priest. Priest is correct for the one-point steal. That will bring an end to round number two. And at the end of round number two, I have Cameron at 16 and Matthew at 8. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yes. All right. Moving on to round number three, which is the pick your poison round, where our competitors will pick their one, two, three, and four pointers. We're going to take a break. And uh, they will pick the choices. We're leaving right now. We'll be back right now. All right, everybody, we're back. Let's start round three, where our opponents have picked their one, two, three, and four point questions. Cameron has picked his one in Emma Stone, his two in Animated, his three in 1980s, his four in Romance, and Matthew has picked his one point in Romance, two in Horror, three in Emma Stone, and four in Animated. Matthew is behind, so we will be starting with him. Since I read uh, Matthew's questions in round two, Dylan. Go ahead and read his questions round three. All right. So, Matthew, your one-point question in the category of romance. Name both actors who play the title characters in Romeo plus Juliet. Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. That is correct for one point. So then we will go over to your two-point question in the category of horror. What 2010s horror film is about a UN investigator who must travel around the world to find the origins of a deadly virus? Can get a repeat? Yep, that is your first repeat, I believe. What 2010s horror film is about a UN investigator who must travel around the world to find the origins of a deadly virus? Five, um, four, three. Contagion. That is incorrect. We were looking for World War Z. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. Right. So yeah. now we are in a situation where Matthew needs to hit both his three and his four point question to stay in the game. That is correct. So we will go to Matthew's three point question in the category of Emma Stone. Who plays Richard's wife, Claire, in Paper Man? Five, four, three. Repeat the question. That is your second repeat. Who plays Richard's wife, Claire, in Paper Man? Five, four, um, three. Elizabeth Banks, I can't remember. And your winner, Cameron Holzman. The answer was Lisa Kudrow. And with that, we will start post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate uh, second-place finisher, Matthew Chen. Matthew, uh, you, 
You did really well in round one. Like you, you had the lead going in. So I would say you played pretty well. Day overall, how do you feel about your performance? Uh, yeah, I think it it sucks. You know, I landed on sports, which is not a category I wanted. But uh, you know, Holtzman did a great job with Sony Pictures Animation. I think if I spun first and I got that, it would be a very different game. So, uh, but yeah, no, Cameron did a great job. I think I just got a uh, bad category in round two, and then. Round three, I think uh, some of those movies, I was just like, I I've seen them and kind of just forgot because um, most of them aren't very good, I guess. So. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, this <laughs> does, unfortunately, end your run in the tournament. Uh, age old question. Who do you want to play when you come back? Um, I, I, I mean, ever since I joined this league, Albert's the one that brought me in. Obviously, I don't want to face a faction mate, but I've always wanted to play Albert, but not at this moment. I, I'm, I have, I'm happy to play anyone, though. You really, really want to beat Albert. You heard it here, people. All right. Thank you so much, Matthew. We're going on to our winner now, Cameron Holzman. Cameron pulled out the victory today. Moving on to round three. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. Um, yeah, round one, uh, there were a few questions I missed that I should not have missed. Uh, I absolutely should have known Logan, and then I just – couldn't remember which of the vacation movies was 1983 but i knew it was one of them because it had to be um but yeah luckily uh like matthew said like i got lucky that i got the best category on that wheel for me and matthew got arguably the worst category on that wheel for both of us and i think if he chooses to spin first this is a very very different game um but no matthew put up a great match um like he he made me watch some good movies and some also Tusk, uh, <laughs> but uh, but no, like I love playing Matthew. Uh, spent a lot of time studying. Um, yeah, I don't know what Cameron's talking about. Everybody in this community loves sports, 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 sports. <laughs> All right, Cameron, you are moving on to round three. That means you will be playing the winner of Cameron Redshaw and Tim Bracala. Thoughts. You know, it's it's interesting because I've played Tim before in Warzone. He was my second Warzone match ever. Um, and we were both very different competitors than we are now. Uh, and I think it'd be fun to see how things have changed uh, as well. I've played him several times in fandom. Uh, and now that he's retired, I will never have a chance to avenge my multiple losses to the man, uh, which sucks. So it'd be nice to have that opportunity. But like, Redshaw is one of my best friends in this community. Like he like he and I as a team uh like have won belts in other leagues. Uh and I think like that would just be a really fun match. Uh you'll get to hear us just repeatedly say the word Cameron over and over and over again until it loses all of its meaning. Um but yeah, whoever I play, uh I'll be ready. Um yeah. Yeah, let's uh really hope that doesn't happen thank you <laughs> <laughs> well it's a pretty good match what yeah. do you think dylan yeah it was good i mean look matthew i think in this whole tournament has like shown just how great of a competitor he is especially in that round one today where he had it looked like he had cameron in some trouble there uh and yeah it's just cameron knows his strengths like inside and out like he's really good whenever he lands on his his own stuff and yeah, I think whoever he faces next in round two should be a really great match. So, no doubt about that. This is a this will wrap up today's episode of Multiplex Movie Warzone. Well, I uh, thank competitors Matthew and Cameron. Thank you, Dylan, for being on the desk with me, and everybody in Multiplex Movie Warzone. Uh, I know there is an ending thing we have here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Bye, bye, boys. Goodbye. <laughs> Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Just take a Bye.